Hi guys, so I hope everyone is doing well today. We're going to be reviewing this poly gel kit from Cassidy. This is off Amazon. Now, full disclosure, this was sent to me um, free of charge, but I'm not getting paid to do this review, so all of these thoughts are my own. So here in this first box, we have three 30 gram tubes of poly gel in clear white and pink, along with the instruction booklet that I'm showing you here. You also get two sheets of nail stickers. And then in the second box, it comes in two layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out so I can show you each layer individually. So on that first layer, you get an LED lamp with USB cord. Now this does have feet on it, so you can set it up on your table to cure your nails if you wanna use it that way. Today I'm going to be using it just to flash cure each nail before I put my hand into the big light. You also get 15 gram tubes of poly gel, and those colors are clear, white, natural pink, dark pink, brown coffee, bean coffee, diamond pink, and diamond silver. And I will show you guys swatches here in a second of that. So on the second layer, you get, of course, your instruction booklet again. You get some dual forms, and I'm just gonna show you real quick the shape on that. You also get a nail file, micro glitter, slip solution, your base gel and top coat, gold nail forms, an applicator for your glitter, a square brush, gel brush, and multicolored gems for your nails. So getting into those swatches, I'm going to start with the 30 gram tubes from that smaller box. And first we have the white, clear, and pink. And I'm going to go ahead and move into those 15 gram tubes. And this is the natural pink. Diamond Silver, Diamond Pink, Bean Coffee, Dark Pink, Brown Coffee, Clear, and white and then I am also going to swatch the natural pink and pink side by side because to me they look like the same color and once I got them side by side I could see that they were. I'll also go into a close-up of all of those colors so you can see them. Today I'm going to be starting my prep with my Madame Glam needle bit and I'm just going to be using that to go around my side walls and my cuticle area. Now I'm being sure not to point the bit down at any point so I don't gouge on my nails. Um, I'm keeping this parallel with the nail plate and what that does is it just ensures that I'm just getting the surface build up off of my nails as opposed to digging into the nail itself and I'm also going at a very slow speed with my drill. So I'm just going to continue doing that to all of the nails. Next I'll be using my cuticle pusher just to push back any cuticle that I missed and then flip it around to the other side and scrape up anything that I missed with that bit. I also like to use a little bit of alcohol 
to help loosen up anything that might be stuck on there. It just makes it easier to do removal. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go in with the file and I'm just gonna etch the surface of the nail. And again, I'm not digging into the nail itself. I am just etching the top of it. And that's just to give the gel something to stick to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all of the nails and then wash my hands and I'll meet you guys right back for the next step. So today I'm going to be using the little LED lamp that came in the kit. Now you can cycle through this using the button up at the top for 90 seconds, 120 seconds and off. So I'm gonna be using that to flash cure in between each nail. So to start off, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean my nail plate one more time with rubbing alcohol. Next I'll be applying my dehydrator primer and base gel. Once I get that base gel on, I am gonna go ahead and pop it into my LED lamp that I have off to the side. Now today we are doing the lazy girl method, which just means that I'm gonna be using full tips. The tips that I'm using today are the E-Nail Couture Mini Coffins, and you can see those down in the bottom lined up. I've already sized them out. Now you wanna make sure that these, when you're doing the lazy girl method specifically, that you're going a little bit bigger instead of going sidewall to sidewall. You wanna have those tips rather a little bigger than too small. Otherwise you're gonna end up with gaps in your final. Also we will be filing, which will ensure that it doesn't get too bulky around the sides in the cuticle area. If you guys need more information on the lazy girl method, go check out Femi Beauty. She has some awesome tutorials. She started this whole lazy girl method. I highly recommend her channel. Also, do we need a dedicated video on the lazy girl method? I could do a step-by-step -step tutorial. There are a lot of things that I could elaborate on. Let me know down in the comments if that's something you guys are interested in. So here are the coffin tips that I was talking about from e -Nail Couture. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my pinky nail today. The color that I'm using is the diamond pink that I swatched. It has a really small shimmer in it and it's kind of a bubblegum pink. Um, I'm also gonna be using the slip solution to do these nails and I'm just gonna add that to my dappen dish up in the corner there. Now this first nail, I'm gonna start by using their nail brush. I did notice that it had a few little flyaway unruly hair so I just went ahead and snipped those off at the tip there. And I'm going to begin by putting a little bit of product in that nail well and then I'm just going to use my saturated brush to push that product evenly from sidewall to sidewall making sure that I don't have any buildup in the center of the nail. You want to make sure that you have an even coating all the way across the nail and you really don't need a lot for this. In fact, less is more at this point because when you put it on your nail, you don't want it squishing out at the cuticle area or the underside of your nail. Once I'm happy with the gel placement, I'm gonna go ahead and place that on the nail. Now I'm not pushing it firmly on the nail. I'm just trying to get it to make contact with my nail plate. And then I'm going to make sure that that's straight. I'm gonna check the underside. And you have time to work with this. This doesn't dry until you cure it. So that's the great thing about poly gel is you have time to work with it. I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush just to clean up anything that squishes out at the cuticle area sidewall. And again, I'm checking underneath just to make sure that that's good and lined up. And then I'm gonna do a quick flash cure using that lamp. So here I noticed that there was a little bit of clear peeking through. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more product and perfect that underside of the nail. You know, and this is a good tip so you don't have to file later. You can always go in and perfect before you are finished. And I'm just gonna pat that out, make sure that I cover all of that clear that was peeking through. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and flash cure the underside of that as well. So at this point, I did go ahead and switch brushes. I switched to my Madame Glam Poly Gel brush, and this one just has more of a curved edge, which I find easier to work product side to side. Um, that square brush just wasn't doing it for me as far as being able to control the product really well. So I won't be using that one for the rest of this set. So I'm just going to continue on to the next nail. One thing I did want to point out with this slip solution also is that you do have to work with it quite saturated. So as long as your brush is saturated, it works really well. But the moment that your brush starts drying out, it starts sticking to the brush and it starts sticking to you. It kind of feels like you're working with petulant bubble gum. If you don't like working with a very saturated brush, you can try using isopropyl alcohol. I use 91% for the other hand and it worked just fine. Also, another thing that I wanted to mention about the slip solution, I did not get any white casting when it cured. 
Also, the poly gel itself cured really well and evenly. I didn't get any heat spikes and it was very easy to work with. It wasn't too soft to where it got too gummy and it wasn't so hard that you couldn't maneuver it around. So overall, for the price and everything that you get in this kit, I do think that it is a really good kit and it's definitely very beginner friendly. You know, you have the lamp and forms and basically you can start by doing a set right out of the box, so to speak. So overall, I think it's a great deal. I will have everything linked down below, by the way, anything that I'm using or mentioning in this video. So you'll find everything in the description box. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of my application process. And then I'll meet you back when we're ready to file. Just note that I am flash curing every nail as I go. And then at the end, I'm going to do a full cure in my LED lamp that I have off to the side. And I believe I have that set for 90 seconds. Once that's fully cured, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my isopropyl alcohol just to make sure to remove that tacky layer before I start filing. I'm going to use my hand file for this just to show you guys how to shape that with what you get in the box. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up my free edge and my side walls and then I'm going to start concentrating on bringing down that bulk around my cuticle area and side wall there. While I'm doing this, I'm being sure to pull the skin away from the area that I'm working so that I don't cut myself with this file and you want to make sure that you do this whether you're working on yourself or anyone else you could technically skip over this part and just go right into your design at this point but to me this is what brings us from looking like a press on set to an actually sculpted set so for the aesthetic that i like i think that this is a necessary step and again if you would enjoy that press on look by no means is that bad or am i saying that you know, that's not aesthetically pleasing. It's just for me personally, this is what I like to do. So if you need to at this point, you can go ahead and flip that nail over. Use your e-file to perfect the underside of the nail. Recover your C-curve if you need to. And again, this is also optional. Once you're happy with the shape of your nail, you can go ahead and remove that dust and wash your hands if you need to. One other thing that I wanted to mention about this file, it is very sharp. I did actually end up nicking myself on my ring finger. So in order to fix that, um, all you need to do is take an old file and just run it across the edges of the new file and that will just season it. 
and that just prevents you from cutting yourself or a client. I recommend doing that with any new file if you're going to be working on somebody else. For this nail design, I'm going to be doing just a simple sticker and a few stones using what came in the box. So I'm going to go ahead and place a sticker on my ring finger using a pair of tweezers. And then I'm going to use the top coat that came in this kit to go ahead and place these little stones. If these stones were any bigger, I would use something like the poly gel itself or a bling gel. But for these little stones, I don't feel that that's necessary. And also I'm only putting three of them down. So I am going to go ahead and cover the entire nail once I get that sticker in place with the top coat, I'm going to place my stones flash cure and then I'm going to go ahead and top coat that again, making sure to get gel all the way up to those stones, kind of holding it in place. And then I will do a total cure with all of the nails in my big light. So I just wanted to give you guys a roundup of my thoughts on the product now that I've had it on for about a week of the time of this voiceover. So all of the stones have stayed, which are great. The top coat is a non-wipe top coat and has stayed shiny the entire time. I don't have any noticeable scratches in my nails and everything is holding on good. Currently at a week in on this set, I don't have any lifting. So the poly gel, like I said before, cured really well. I enjoyed all the colors and I like the variety of colors. I will say I would have liked to see like one glitter color or maybe a purple or a blue instead of just all the pinks and nudes that it came with. But overall, I am happy that they added in the larger tubes of the 30 gram gels in the clear white and pink. And especially the clear, I feel like that's a color that if you encapsulate, you're going to end up going through quite a bit. So for me personally, I would go ahead and skip the brush. I don't feel like it really helped me very much. I didn't like the shape of it. But again, that could just be my personal preference. If you do find that you need another brush, you can get a poly gel brush online for like $5 on Amazon. So you might be interested in checking that out. Also, the only other thing to note is the slip solution that you have to work with it quite saturated. It does work. You just need to know that you have to have your brush saturated. So that would be my other tip for this kit. And of course, you could always use isopropyl alcohol, as I stated before. So I just wanted to say thank you to Cassidy for sending me this product to try out for you guys. And again, I was not paid to do this review. These are all my thoughts. And here we are at the final look. I'm going to go ahead and just apply my cuticle oil and give you guys some video of this and pictures of the design. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And just real quick, what do you guys think of the voiceover style? Are you into this or do you prefer it when I talk to you guys directly as I'm doing the nails? Um, let me know which format you prefer. I'm interested to know what you guys think in the comments.